Hi, hi, everyone. Hi, Crafty Angels. Vanessa here from Angel Rose Designs here on YouTube. Try number two. Let's see if it's going to work. Let's see if y'all see the chat and everything. Um, hopefully, y'all do see the chat. But I don't know. Whew. I think it's working. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I got Mrs. Gigi over there. We are on day 18 of the No New November Junk Journal Challenge. That's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. It really is. That's five times fast, okay? So let me share this out and get my keyboard out of the way. I'm going to share this out. Hello, Candy. Well, I can't share it that way. Might as well do it this way. So, hello, Miss Candy. How are you doing today? As I said, we are on day eighteen, Mrs. Gigi. What are we doing today? Because my mind is is, is, is we I don't know. Are uh, going to create some journaling spots uh, using playing cards. And that's what we're going to do. Status quo, Candy says. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that, you know, especially today, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We are going I to don't know. We are going to try to do something with these. I can't I can't blame it on the moon. No, <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> not at all. Mm. So we're going to get busy with this because my brain is going on overdrive today. Got my coffee, though. Mm -hmm. I kind of did because it's half, it's more than halfway <laughs> down I there. Have <laughs> screenshot of the little face you had in yours. That would have yeah. been really cute. <laughs> I forgot so to screenshot it. Guys, don't forget to that. I can't even talk. Really? Um, don't forget to share this out and give this a thumbs up. And we see, I see six sitting in the bleachers, uh, in the dugout. So join us in the bleachers. Hi, Miss Margaret. Hello, hello. So, going so to... I've been recording since I woke up this morning. So, my brain is like, com, com, how do you say that? Confused as to what Could I'm doing be. now? <laughs> Could be. I don't know. We're super confused as to what I'm doing right now. So, one side, oops, not that, not receives Vanessa. See what I mean? Mm hmm. This card, I don't know if you can see, this card is actually really special because these are um, children's book characters from Swedish authors. Oh, that's uh, like cute. Long stocking, you know, you know all yeah. other. So, so this to me is very special. It, it is not a playing card in, in, in the sense like a regular one, but mm. I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> you got to use it anyway. Yeah. Just because I, I thought like, you know, I want to save that card and, and we are making kind of card thing going today. So. Mm -hmm. You can use any type of card you want. Hello, Miss Heather. Hello, hello. Waiting for oh. the doctors. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's got to be Miss Margaret. Yep. I got to do one more thing before we continue, before I continue. So I'm going to see. Is this? Yep, you can tear it. Hello, Barbara. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Miss Barbara. Welcome. Thanks for joining in. This is a 
coffee filter that I've been having for I don't even know maybe since since summer I, I don't I don't know I can't remember but it's going to be used today cover part of a thing up here how long ago was it that I um, changed my glue was it last week I think it was last week wasn't it like it is you know it's a couple of look at this I Not think it, I think it was last week I took a new glue stick uh, but I need a new one <laughs> Again? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Only Mrs. Gigi, guys. Only Mrs. Gigi. Yeah. I'm going to use my glue stick also again today. So I'm going to tear parts. Let me get my little out. mat out here. Going to save those small little pieces because you'll never know. Oops. Heather, you want to do me a favor and get all the links, please? And you can find the links for me and Mrs. Gigi in my link tree to her group, my group, and her YouTube channel. Also, check out hers for the challenge, all her videos. She got some pretty cool stuff, me. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Trying to do something fun in each video, I don't really know. It's hard to come up with ideas each time. It is. But that's it's the cool. fun of it. Yep. There's one. I'm going to put the lines on the back. going to kind of create a little place here so that you can journal something small on the back of this. I'm thinking maybe I should get me some more glue sticks. Oh, no, I actually, I don't know if you have, let me reach for one. I don't know if you have this one in, in the U.S., but it's a triangular one. Look at it. Yeah, they have them. Yes, and them I'm thinking, you know, I, I'm kind of, I've used it before, but I like it in terms of you, you can really get in to all the corners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get them on Amazon. Okay, mm -hmm. Heather, take your time. We're here for a bit. <laughs> yep. We're here for a spell. Don't worry about it. Now. Mrs. Gigi will be live tomorrow with yeah, Rebecca. And if it's not too late for her tomorrow night, I would like to invite her to come live with me again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. That is two in the middle of the night for me. So I am not sure that I will be. Well, if you can make, <laughs> let me know and I'll give you the link and everything. Because yeah. I have a lot of fun when I'm, uh, you know, with you on my live. Yeah. I, a lot too. of laughs absolutely. and whatnot, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I like that too. <laughs> but I, I'm, I cannot <laughs> say yes because I don't know if I'm asleep. Hey, I'm, just, I'm just saying, if you can, I'm just uh, <laughs> extending the invite. That's all I'm doing. Mm -hmm. If you can't, that's okay too. I don't mind. Where's Miss Marty, Miss Zena, Miss Stephanie, and all of them? Where are you guys at? They're coming. Don't you worry. Where's the funny mm -hmm. crew at? <laughs> 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 we need. They're we got coming. one joke sitting over there. We need the rest of the joke. We can create them on. ourselves. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm going to use this was a little piece of a security envelope creating some small little hearts. Now, 
I'm going to try to get this to stick. Instead of pushing with my hands, I'm using a, what they call it, a nail polish bottle. Hey, you know how they have those, some people have those things that you can use for the air hockey table? Yeah. Well, I got nail polish, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of the same thing. The same. Let's see, do I want to have... It gets the job done. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that I want to have this a little bit vintage. Vintage oh. photo to the rescue. Oh, yeah. We got to have our vintage photo, right? Mm -hmm. And I have vintage photo here. And what's the other one on the bottom? Thank uh, you so much for the links, Heather. Thank you, Heather. Oh, I can't even see. Whoops, my bad. Okay. Hello, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. How are you today? Age of mahogany. I may use both of them on this. It depends. Let's see, do you want to have it down there? One in each corner of top and bottom, maybe, or no, I'm going two down at the bottom of it. And let's see. Uh oh. Some, some blue. Blue. Mark. I don't need to be confused today, okay? Confused with I'm, what? I'm confused enough. <laughs> After that little. Uh, little uh thing that had just happened with the chat disappearing oh okay <laughs> no more confusion please am i confusing you or uh, no. you know i'm just <laughs> <laughs> okay if i was serious you wouldn't you would know yeah there is no confusion whatsoever nope there you go. Now, I think I'm going to round my corners. And I'm not going to hold this in my hand. I'm going to show you a different way that I do it. I take it, set it on my desk, and just punch it. Makes it easier that way. And it doesn't hurt my hands. Uh-huh. See? This... Like this, you put the the part like if I was using this uh, the top one, I would just put it like this and just push it down. That way you're not stretching your hand. Yeah. But for me, it hurts right here whenever I squeeze it. Mm -hmm. So I just do it like that, and it's a lot easier too. Yeah. Okay. I, I... okay. Now to decorate this these puppies. Oh, I gotta move my board out. Two more at least. I'm gonna do one mm. with pearls, which I almost dropped and had a almost had a pearl -a lance over here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had pearls all over the floor. And I don't want to go and out and buy these again. Let's see. What else can I use to put on? Hmm. I don't know. I'm using all bits and pieces of the envelopes and things that I have. Mm -hmm. From the, you know, I don't, I don't know. It, it's one of those days you, that you don't really plan anything. It's just take what you have right in front of you. It's one of those days for us. Is Use what you have. So is this going to be the last little bit of glue going for this glue stick? <laughs> you never know. Might be. Oh, dear, Miss Margaret, are you okay? She just got run over by Yeah, it. yeah, I saw that. Like seriously, what is going on? <laughs> wow, people. 
I guess somebody was in a hurry to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. And didn't see her toe, her little toesies. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of these that I made and see if I can get some flowers small enough. You know what I could do too? No. And I'm going to do it. These are printables from, I believe, Tsunami Rose. Her botanicals and stuff. Uh-huh. I know this one definitely is hers. Yep. These, I'm not sure. But I love this one. I think I'm going to use this one for a mini junk journal cover. I'm not going to use that one on this one. No, 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 no. Okay, I want the bottom of this one. I'm going to leave those botanicals because I can cut the flowers off. I'm just using my a paper piece that I have here just because I want lined paper on this thing. Um, so I want the... Blue or the bottom? I want the bottom. Blue one I can cut out and put on the front. Now let's use this again. Instead of using my hand to press it. Or the, the nail polish? Yeah. <laughs> hello, Miss Linda. No, oh, hello, hello. Long time no see. How's you been? We can create something with this quick little ruffly piece. I have a friend that wants me to go over next week and craft with her. And Ooh. she's like me. She has this issue with these little bottles and the nozzle clogging. I told her to use a stainless steel. Um, you have to use stainless steel pins to put in there. But hers, oh, yeah. I think the, the uh, silver part, the little nozzle piece came out. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I gave it to her. It's lasted her a while. But now I have to see if I have any extras, which I probably do, to bring her another one. Uh huh. But I have to find out what my kids are doing uh, on December 1st before I can officially say I'm coming over. It's a madhouse. <laughs> oh, trust me, it was a madhouse earlier. <laughs> Prepping all for, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to show you something. For those of y'all that has the crocodile corner chomper, on the front here, there's a little door. Okay. That if I can remember what side opens, I think it's this side, right here. If you turn it over and squeeze it, all the little pieces inside comes out. <clears throat> See? Oops. Well, I just took yeah, off the little door. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Mm -hmm. But isn't that, you know, how you empty the thing? That's how you empty it. So, I just thought I'd show y'all that. Because a lot of people don't know. And when it gets full, they don't know how to empty it. So, it gets um, more clogged in it. It doesn't work. Let's see, do I want this? Or have I created this ruffle just... You know, in, 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 I don't know. 
You didn't tell me, so I can't tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Let's so. tear it a little bit. Make it smaller. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put three little pearls in the a cluster of pearls in the corner. This one has given up on me. I can't handle it anymore. So I'm going with a new glue stick. <laughs> Hello, Miss Angie. Trouble's Hello. here. Hello. Trouble's mm -hmm. here. Now we can start. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go with one pearl. Maybe. If I can mm -hmm. find two smaller ones, I'll put two smaller ones in. So I have this little piece of a scrap thing that I found. Uh, now we have that one. Let's see. And let's let's create a circle, or you know, somewhat of a circle. With a no, semicircle. You know, it, it's a, a shape. It might not be a circle, but it's gonna be something. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. there, Mike. Hilarious. What's up with the farm, Mike? Oh, hello, hello. Gotten any right. turkeys in the farm lately? Mike is a farm man. Yep. Met him before. How the farmers are going. going to decorate this one a little I bit. I need one. Well, I need two more. Okay. Now one more. Whoops. Okay. Well, this one, I need one a little bit bigger. Let's see, we have this. We have this yeah. thing and this one. So... What are we going to do? Uh oh. Using up. Yeah, I thought so too. It's, you know, almost. Uh, yeah, it is actually <laughs> the middle of November. The, the funny thing is, almost to December soon. It's so strange. When thinking oh, about good. it that way. He's got his harvest done as far as for right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know exactly the climate, but I can only imagine like. But he's got cold weather just like I do, so. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This is going to be like smaller and smaller and smaller. I don't even know. This is Gigi. Stop cutting. Yep. A little bit of more tearing, though. I need to cover it up a little bit more. Let's look at it. Oh, that one is more pink. I like that okay. side. I need more. Now, I'm going to get one of these little poppies over here and put it by the... Uh, By the pearls and we have these two. Oh dear what are we going to do with you and she's about to carry the tree in the house oh oh i do love to have you know a christmas tree but with only the lights in it you know, this time of year. Well, me and my, my youngest, we always do a tree. I'm not doing one this year because I have no place to put it. Um, but my youngest already has hers up. And I have to take a picture. I think I do have a picture. Let me see. Where is my phone? Hmm. Look at it. It got, you know tiny but it's a little bit of a place to write something 
it said a journaling spot for today so mm -hmm. technically it was just yeah these are journaling spots i mean literally. <laughs> it could be just a couple of i mean you can put it in a pocket in yeah that's all we need is to put it in a pocket this glue isn't as good as the other one i think not sure to put some more on there hmm what to do with you i don't want to use you but we do need to have something really hmm mrs Gigi, well, what am i gonna do with you look here's my daughter's tree let me see if it'll come up oh is it all that decorated already oh yeah Ooh. It's all red and white themed. Ooh. I love it. Mine last year, what was it? I themed it like the, I don't remember what I themed my two last year. But that's her three this year. Ooh. And I love that theme. They had a different theme, but they kept changing it. So now they like the one, the theme they have now. <laughs> um, I'm like, y'all change. Mm -mm. Y'all gonna change yeah. it again before it's time. Yeah, I'm thinking so like far, it's, well. a, uh, it's a little bit early to have it fully decorated, but it's just. Oh no, um, that was over like weeks and weeks of uh, trying to find the right theme that they want. Oh okay so and when she found the theme that they wanted she's like i'm going for it so, oh <laughs> okay before they changed their mind again she mm -hmm. wanted to get it all done i mean they've went to walmart amazon they went to you name it the store they went to it to try to find the stuff to put on it each kid has their own um, ornament on the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandson made his out of Legos. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he, don't ask me, he was real quiet one day and I asked my daughter, I asked him, I asked her if he, he was downstairs. She says, no, go check his room. And, he was really quiet the day he made that. Hmm. You know, for, for me, I think I have like a traditional Swedish tree and it is nowhere near as decorated as, as yours, like in, in America. And no way near. <laughs> <laughs> It is, oh. it is a little bit too much for my liking, but that's just the sweet in me talking. <laughs> Miss Linda says, what? We haven't had turkey yet. Yep. No, this is what we usually do the 1st of November. The first, Within the first week, we have at least a tree up. And then throughout the weeks leading up to Thanksgiving, we decorate little by little. She's oh, still on the hunt. She's not done yet. She's still on the hunt for de uh, decorations. I mean, literally, they have a entertainment center that they want to put a whole uh, like a uh, village on. Mm -hmm. They're not nearly done. That tree's not even half done. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. You should have seen my trees when they were growing up. <laughs> my tree was always to capacity. And oh, okay. They, the way they do it, I like it. She's got, I do ribbon on mine too. But I can't put one up this year. I have a little tabletop tree mm -hmm. um, that I usually put on a, um, a little uh, table in my kitchen window. Um, 
I can't do it this year because I got a little cage for my dog so he doesn't hurt himself because he's blind. Oh. So I had to put a little fence around him so he doesn't go banging into everything in the kitchen. Oh, so, poor little thing. I bring him in my room every now and then. He likes to howl a lot. So, but let me tell you one thing. He may be blind, but let me tell you, he can hear. Anybody come to my house, he's barking. <laughs> he may be blind, but he, he's not deaf yet. But he's uh, uh, also 14 years old. Oh. And you, you add seven years to that in dog years, he's a, <laughs> yeah, he's old. Yeah. So, All right. what can Be careful with the tree, Angie, because it's heavy. You yeah, know, you can't hide yourself. The size it is. I don't know. Do, do you have like fake trees a lot or, or oh yeah we, mm -hmm. we did the the actual real tree one year mm -hmm. and that happened to be when my kids were younger uh -huh. <laughs> no not doing that no more at the end of everything when it's all said and done those pine needles are no 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 joke well, I, I remember my, my husband and his family, he actually, they, they took down a tree each year when he was a kid uh, from there. They have a little bit of a forest thing going, mm -hmm. uh, but I am allergic to, <laughs> to, to pine trees, so I can't. I can't have it. We have a plastic one, but I did a little bit sad. <laughs> My girls, when they were younger, they used to. I I just buy the de decorations and stuff like that, and they would decorate the tree. And by the time they got done, lucky I had. Let's put just put it this way. Lucky I had it in the corner, mm -hmm. because it would have went. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have had a toppling tree. <laughs> I'm trying to find something else to put on. Oh, you know what? I knew I was missing something. I got to outline it now. What? The, the cards? Yeah, I got to outline my flowers. Uh -huh. That's what I was missing. But well, there's still something missing, but... But no, over here we have a tradition where the tree goes up on Thanksgiving and comes down New Year's. Oh. But I think what's going to happen, because they celebrate two different New Year's. Mm -hmm. They do April for the Asian New Year and then uh, the American New Year. So... But the Asian one, isn't that like in the beginning of the uh, beginning of April? Beginning of April. Oh, April. Oh, what, what, what the, it is. I don't know. Not the Asian. It might be something else in, in the beginning of January. It looks, it looks really good. It mm -hmm. looks like Mickey Mouse's head. Oh, <laughs> yes, it does. I never noticed that until now. I'm thinking like, um, you know, I've used these kinds of cards just because I want to save up on, on the back sides, really. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we have so many journaling spots and things in, in this chunky journal of ours. So I'm thinking, should I go with a couple of more? Or just leave leave it as is because it's chunky as it is. Hello, Miss <laughs> Kelly. Thanks for popping in. Whatever your heart desires, ma'am. 
I totally forgot about this thing. Poor Andy. Her mom's driving her nuts. Are we driving her nuts? No. Her, her mom. mom. Yeah, I saw them like, what, Angie? <laughs> I was going to say, Angie, what are you talking about? We're not doing nothing. I want to clear out my page a little because I got fingerprints everywhere. So I think what I'm going to do is cut a little bitty piece. Nah, I'm going to leave it because it's my book anyway. Uh -uh. Too bad we can't show y'all what we've got done so far because there's some prompts in there that we can't show y'all yet. Wait, wait, wait. released throughout the rest of the month and then we'll have something else going on in December. <laughs> Do I dare? No, we will have to, have to wait to oh. wait. This will make it slide in the pocket easy. And you know what? I'm doing it. Don't overthink it. Just go for it. Right? Mm -hmm. That is what this whole journal is about. It, because it's made out of, you know, the true drunk journal. Oh, junk. Um, as my uh, kids would call it. So, you know, they, all, they keep all... telling me to stop watering craft junk. I'm like, what junk? I don't have no junk. <laughs> no, that's the funny thing. We see, like, oh no, don't put that one in the garbage. We need it. <laughs> like, <laughs> ribbon. Uh, the first row, uh, two rows that she had until they found the one that y'all saw on the tree. Mm -hmm. Mom, you want this? I'm like, well, wait a minute. Y'all keep telling me not to buy no more, no more craft junk, but you're giving me this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, but mom. She gave me some Christmas balls, too. Have a lovely rest of your day, Kelly. Have a good day, Miss Kelly. Thanks for stopping by. Do, oh, for a 400 acre farm. What kind of animals did you have, Heather? I'm thinking like cows and or, I, mean, I don't oh. even know. <laughs> Pigs, talk about maybe. Mike. Yeah, but um, she used to have one too. That was oh, they go moving on a farm soon, if I'm not mistaken. And she she just asked Mike, "What kind of animals do you have?" I used to run and have uh, or have a four hundred acre farm. My so uncle I... had one, and let me tell you, we had horses, we had pigs, we had cows, we had. You name it, he had the animal on the farm. But then he had to give it up because he was uh, caught in a fire and 95% of his body was burnt. Oh, no. I'm so, so he had sorry. to give up the, love, the, th the one thing he loved to do, he had to give it up. Mm-hmm. Cattle, goats, chickens, rabbits, pigs, mule, llama, ooh, and horses. Mike has a, a llama. Did you have a llama? Wow. <laughs> uh the school where my grandson goes down the road from it. Um they have a uh a couple that lives there, and the husband and wife run a llama. Mm -hmm. And that's all you see on it. Llamas and what's the other one? Um, alpacas. Oh, yeah. We see them out every time we pass by. Yeah. And then there's another farm uh, that has nothing but horses on it. And every time we pass it, oh my God, I get so excited. I'm like a two up. Uh, an eight-year-old waiting to go ride a horse 
every time I see a horse, I miss, I love riding horses and I miss doing that. Mm -hmm. I haven't ridden a horse, oh God, since I was 15 years old. Oh, wow. And I miss it so bad. I mean, to me, that would help me a lot with fibro and stuff like that because my uncle used to have the softest, the softest leather uh, saddles on the horses that you would not believe how, oh God, it was, I could mm -hmm. ride for hours on end. Yeah. But he uh, passed away due to alcoholism. His daughter had the farm. What she did with it? Sold it and took the money. Oh. Instead of keeping it to, for her grandchildren, mm -hmm. the horses and stuff. And she had the money to feed all the animals and stuff like that. She also inherited my grandfather's farm. Oh, okay. I read that too. The only thing she didn't sell was my grand, my the little bitty, I call it the tiniest little house, two bedroom house that my grandfather and grandmother had. Mm -hmm. But everything else, poof, she sold. Oh. <clears throat> but, um, I don't know. It's hard. Yeah. She has three or four grandkids that mm -hmm. she has to that she's helping raise because her daughter's her caretaker. So uh -huh. she lives with her daughter, or her daughter lives with her one of the two. I don't know which way to put it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's either she lives with her daughter or you know, yeah, lives with her. <laughs> you know, that that's uh -huh. the only option, really. <laughs> it was. They they were the, the Western uh, pleasure saddles. And each one of those saddles was so pretty. It was like I mean, it was like you're riding a horse, yeah, but it felt like you were sitting in a nice cozy recliner when you were riding it. That's the mm -hmm. best way I can uh, explain riding the horses on my uncle's farm. I mean, he would never, never let us go off the grounds with the horses. I mean, the only time you would be able to go off the grounds with the horses mm -hmm. is when you were riding the horse in a parade. Uh -huh. And it was so much fun doing that every now and then. I would do it every other year, but it, you have to ride. I mean, the parades in Louisiana that goes from one end of the street all the way to the next. Mm -hmm. And that's about at least a five mile stretch you have to run the heart, you know, walk the horses on. But it was fun. My uncle, my other uncle had a Model T that he used to ride in the parades. And he still has that car today. <laughs> his son, um, his son's fixing it up. And his son still rides it in parades. Oh, that is nice. It's, it's, it has the, what we call the saddleback seat. Mm -hmm. it has, it's the one he has is only two seats in the front. And then you pop in the saddleback uh, seat out from the where the trunk's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And you ride sitting there and ride. Oh, bye, Linda. Have a great bye, day. Linda. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. I haven't seen Miss Linda in a long time. But mm -hmm. it was fun. I mean, yeah. We got to do mm -hmm. horseback riding every weekend. If they had parades, my uncle would ask us, you know, if we wanted to ride one of the horses in the parade or if we want to ride Saddleback in a Model T and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I mean, I even got offered to ride on a float. I'm like, eh, eh I'm going. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I take the horse to Saddleback anytime. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Anytime. Why do I feel like something's still missing on my cards? I don't know. You know what's missing? I'm going to know what's missing right now. Hey, y'all. <laughs> See? That's what's missing on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, I'm a, a journal on it. But this one here, I just want, I don't know, I just had it in my mind. I had to write it down before I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you you know, that's the thing with these. You don't have to have, uh, I don't even know if I'm going to use mine. So it's just going to be there as a decoration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike says, people find out we have cattle, a cattle ranch of sorts. And they act, automatically ask if I watch Yellowstone. Oh. <laughs> Why would they associate... Oh, okay. I see the the cattle farm in the in the movie. Uh huh. You know, but still, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird, you know. Mm hmm. Oh, so uh, weird. You know what else is missing? I'm gonna put this, but I have to cut a little bit off around the flower and the pearls. And where's my stapler? Do you have one of those like tiny attachers? On nope. Them? This is my tiny, and it hurts when I squeeze it. I'm gonna have to find me a little tiny attacher. But they take the smallest of uh, staplers and staples, and that is they're hard to find. You know, I just got a ton of them from my dollar dollar store. <laughs> you know, they sell it. It's a Tim Holtz one. And the tiniest one, they are so expensive. And I just got this for um, like 75 cents. <laughs> I know, and right? So, and then it works, and it works the, as well as the original. The, so. stapler, the stapler costs more than the, uh, <laughs> the uh, actual staple, staples do. Yeah, but I had the stapler for for years so it, it, and mm. I use it almost every day so it's the these are the ones that is really really expensive if you go to directly to the Tim Holtz version of it mm -hmm. you pay for the name that's what you do <laughs> to me everything you buy you pay for the name not the product mm -hmm. I don't know it's just crazy I just uh -oh. found this little thing. Memories. Let's put that one down. I'm going to have to glue the back of this one. Because, see, it came off. The staple came out of the back. Oh. <laughs> Don't know how, but it did. Hmm. I'm going to be cleaning glue off my hand for days. I have found found that the you know the, the little craft accident thing with all the glue all, all over here, it's finally. You finally you know, got it all cleaned up. Yep. But you can. I don't know if you can see. You know, no, you can't. I'm, I'm glad because it is a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking the back side of this is black, so uh, I'm thinking that I oh, when this is all torn up and you know not. I'm actually next year. I think I will change it up. And just flip it around. Like me black. on camera. Y'all can't see all the cut marks I have here in my um, plexiglass, but I can see them. Y'all can see some up here, but right here is where I usually work, and I can feel them and see them. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's hard to... I like my plexiglass. Maybe next year I'll buy me an... Uh, I'll go to the guy down the street 
by my granddaughter's school and have them make me a bigger piece of plexiglass. Have them cut it for me because they do mirrors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. This is this is you. one of those like self healing cutting mm -hmm. masks. So. I have that one. I have like three or four cutting mats self healing underneath my desk, and I got two more behind my door just in case. Oh, okay. I have this one, so I'm I'm, I'm like using it as much as I can, and then I have like a smaller one too. Mm, but it's all like gooey and you know it's, it's well if you wanted to uh i think i had tried one time get a little spray bottle with straight up uh alcohol mixed with a little tiny bit of water and mm -hmm. spray it on and wash it off and it's gonna clean it off yeah we'll try that definitely but with mm -hmm. me the uh paper that y'all see underneath here that's actually an old cutting self-healing cutting mat that i just put some uh shelf liner paper over next month i'm changing it i'm looking for some christmas stuff to put under maybe it depends mm -hmm. <laughs> because i don't want it to be too busy or maybe i just go back with my gray and white background and I just put the paper wrapped around the mat and put my border, my plexiglass on top. Yeah. I am beat and not done. Oh my goodness. Auntie, oh. <laughs> get somebody to, to carry that tree for you, girl. Don't carry it by yourself. Oh, you have to be careful with that. <laughs> definitely oh wow it all depends on how heavy the tree is because you can yeah. get some very light trees yeah yeah and if she's going with a fake one that they usually have it in you know separate parts and you put it mm -hmm. together but separate parts but in the same box and it's like you gotta try i had a tree literally i had to put the whole entire tree together myself <laughs> Oh, yes, but you had you had the base, mm -hmm. which was the front, the bottom piece, and the frame of the tree. Then you had to stick each branch in by itself, but you had to go by color. They had oh. the colors on the piping, and then they had the colors wrapped around the wire on the branch. And oh wow, was it that? I'm like, <laughs> whose idea was it to buy this kind of tree? Was it one of those, like, Ikea trees or something? I know. When we it, my, at the time I was married, and he had come home with it. And I'm like, what's the big idea? I had to literally scatter it all over the living room. It was a huge tree, mm -hmm. right? And when I saw that I had to match the color on the wire of each branch to a little thing on the tree, I'm like, oh, oh my God. After this year that she's gone in the garbage. <laughs> but <laughs> that tree literally lasted us 10 years before it started falling apart. Yeah. Oh, wow. I have a little Dollar Tree tree that I put in my kitchen window. And that tree's gone on 13 years that I have it. Oh, wow. Good quality tree. And it's Dollar Tree. What? It's a Dollar Tree, mm -hmm. Christmas tree. There's an idea that I saw Bark and Bethany do on face on on her YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Angie. Oh no. Mm. No, don't you have it. Then you're gonna I make hope. me cry. I don't want to do that. I hope that you haven't heard. Yeah, I know why. But she took a whole bunch of uh, Dollar Tree Christmas trees, and she took only the top parts of them. Mm -hmm. She built a base herself out of um, PVC pipe. And oh, she took only wow. the top parts of the tree 
uh -huh. and she gathered them together around the, the piping and took a um, zip tie. And mm -hmm. you can see how pretty that tree is. She flocked it with paint and everything. It came out gorgeous. Hmm. If I can think of doing one like that when I have my apartment back to myself, Mm -hmm. I'll I'll do a video on it. She has a video on how she did it, but there's no way I'm going to take PVC piping outside on a windy day and try to paint it. No, that that to me is too big of a project. <laughs> oh, no. no, I'll make that look even top <laughs> I'm not going to make it that big. I mean, mm -hmm. she had it where she had a PVC pipe going this way and two going this way, but she had the elbow pipes too. Uh -huh. And she had, I think it was one big long one for the uh -huh. trunk, for the oh, middle yeah. piece mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. right? And <laughs> when she started putting that thing together and fluffing it out, I'm like, wow. Hmm. And then she took some white paint with a bristle paintbrush mm -hmm. and literally, no joke, flocked that whole tree by hand with white paint okay i'm saying to myself <laughs> you have a baby that's about a year old and you're doing all this how <laughs> i hope he has a long nap when you're doing these videos lady because that video took her at least a half an hour to do hmm. you know and I would love to give that a try one year, but until I have more room, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. And I'll probably be in my 70s by the time I have enough room to do that. <laughs> you know, but. Yeah. We oh, did get in 57 minutes. Yeah. We did. And I'm actually talking a little bit, so maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But, and, um, you know, we will be back. Yeah. I know we're live tomorrow, but we will be back with a new prompt for those of you interested. And yeah. I want to start something on my channel, but I don't want to say it out because, you know. You mean that there, there are pe people listening? <laughs> Too many years, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. Too many years listening. Listen, you have seven people. Multiply that times two. How many ears you got? <laughs> <laughs> That's 28 years listening to the idea. No, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, this is, you know, uh, uh, me and Vanessa, we talked about the, the November challenge before the stream and then realized it is almost to the end of it. You know, it's just a couple this of This is our days. last live for this, isn't no, it? We will oh, have, we have one two more lives. On, no, on Ven Wednesday na next week. Because we will have yeah one more Thursday is Thanksgiving yep when so we're doing the twenty fourth the twenty third and twenty fourth and twenty fifth no yeah we the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth the same day on, on, Wednesday, on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday so prepare guys this is uh gonna be a doozy to try to get these two in. And it's going to be fun and then we will have it the flip through you know later on <laughs> the week after that just to have it to show you what we have done throughout the whole month and then after thanksgiving i think we said december 1st was it we're gonna do a complete flip through yeah yeah of the whole journey so it's gonna be fun looking at these puppies because they're huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're almost gator size, guys. Almost. Yes. But I'm also working on a 
another junk journal because I had fun with this one with Mrs. Gigi. So I'm worried I started uh it's actually was gonna be my third signature in this one, but then I'm like, eh -eh, it's a chunky monkey already. I don't want to get uh it's already a gate almost a gator mouth. I don't want it any bigger than that. Yeah, <laughs> it is going to get bigger if you put in, you know, decorations oh, yeah. and things. Because so. technically, <laughs> watch, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with three signatures in it. And I am not joking. Let me get the other signature and pop it in. Oh, Just a big hug to you and some extra, you know, I will definitely print for you, Angie. <clears throat> Oh, this is wow. the three signatures. Imagine adding uh, laces, trims, appliques, um, journaling cards. No, that 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 would be it would literally be <laughs> like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's already with two signatures. Once I add all the laces, trims, um, and stuff like that, all the journaling cards. I still got to make journaling cards and stuff like that to put in it. But it's going to be, like, way out here. And mm -hmm. that's just two signatures, guys. These two signatures right here. It's going to be... Whoop! Can't show that one. <laughs> it's going to be like this by the time it's actually done. And I still mm -hmm. got to show the signatures put the signatures in but i'm doing it a different way other than having the threads show out here so yeah it's gonna be fun this is gonna be a different journal but i keep it all together in one mm -hmm. so this is gonna be this is my very first junk journal so i'm proud of it yeah it, it is looking really really good well, then, I was talking to Miss Gigi this morning. Let me move these out of the way. I found this in my stash. And the idea I have for it, I'm going to work on it. But, ha-ha. All y'all get to see of this until I have it complete. A, a little bit of a sneak peek until yep. December. Or further on, I don't know. I don't know when that one's gonna come up because this one took us a whole month to put together. <laughs> <laughs> but now you know, you know what to add and what, to what, what mean, not to add. So now I can't go in everybody's chat and say, "Well, I never made a junk journal." Mm -hmm. And this is a true, true junk me. journal. You know, a true junk journal is um, might be a little bit harder than using digitals and things exactly. like that I mean, you this one is part of because you got to literally collect all the junk mail mm -hmm. i mean i went to the uh fried chicken uh place here mm -hmm. and when i went to pick up our order i grabbed a few of their little pamphlets to oh, to just in case to use them yeah. later on <laughs> and then um what was it all the papers that i get in the mail Mm -hmm. I write out my name and I use that in here. Book pages, old book pages. I mean, envelopes. It, I had to collect from my daughter, both of my daughters, my soon to be son in law, mm -hmm. my landlord, and myself to get this to where it is today. I had to collect from five different people. <laughs> Oh, nice. so you know, it's not easy getting a true junk journal from just junk. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you make a junk journal and you have printables and stuff like that that has all the pockets pre made, it's not the same as doing this one. Well, no, we have to literally do everything. Not. I have made a journal, a cami. Oh, I want to see. Oh, wow. I want to see that one, but making a true junk journal in its true form wasn't that easy. 
No. It, I mean, it took us how long to collect what we have just to make what, what we got today? I'm thinking in one way that col to collect the whole thing isn't the thing for me. It's just a matter of coming up with what to do mm -hmm. because you don't have, you know, okay. Exactly. I, I it's the, like, wait I a minute. The words here, but, you know, other than that, uh -huh. it's all like envelope it, pieces and. Exactly. Scrap bits and pieces. I mean, to me, I love doing this whole junk journal project with Mrs. Gigi. I mean, it kept my mind going. It kept the ideas popping. I mean, every time we would chat and I'm like, oh, I'm far behind. And this morning, I finally filmed the last prompt for this uh, junk journal. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, I still got two more prompt things coming up. But I'm not saying what they are. <laughs> Those y'all gonna have to wait until the videos pop up, yeah. unless me and Mrs. Gigi come up with something to do for the projects that Mrs. Gigi knows the projects I'm working on. Yep, I do. If she wants to come up with prompts with me to do for one we can have fun oh let me get gmail opened you mind if i show it angie is it okay if i show it let me see i'm excited mm -hmm. I'm all like really excited too to really see you know you make so many beautiful things, Angie. Yeah. yeah. The ones that I've been seeing. Me on my computer because apparently I signed off on my phone, so now I got to go on my computer to get my Gmail. Mm -hmm. So now let me go there, Gmail. And we're going to find Angie. <gasps> oh, my God. That's show mine, me, Angie. Me, show me. Show us. <laughs> what that is mine. Don't know. That's mine. I want that one. Okay, y'all ready? Okay. Video? No, share screen. Mm-hmm. Oh, when y'all see this one, it is done like a gorgeous, y'all. Look at that, how pretty. Can y'all see it? Uh, it is, you know, I it is a little too dark, but it, it is looking beautiful. Mm. That is beautiful. Pretty. Wow. I like the cameo. Oh, she's got some good stuff on there. That is downright gorgeous. I like the little, the way she put the, the trim on the edges and then the uh, doily for the spine. That made that book pop. Mm -hmm. And then she put, put that bright red in the center underneath the cameo. Oh my yeah. God, that's some talent. Wow. Definitely, you know, that it is. It is. Wow. <laughs> I, I I don't even have words. It's like, exactly. I'm at a loss for words. Wow. Really beautiful. That little satin rose right there tied everything in together. The satin ribbon. Uh, no, Arganza ribbon. The, the, yeah. I mean, it literally tied everything. That Oh, God. I came in. My mind is saying, Vanessa? Mm-mm, Vanessa. Okay, I can't. I'm. I'm at a loss for words. That is downright gorgeous. Hmm. I like the appliques right here. Those are some yeah. pretty appliques. Mm -hmm. Now, the background, the pink background with the music. That is pretty. Is that a printable, Angie? I don't know. Um, it looks like a printable. 
Let me move this over so I can see the chat. It's a, it, it's a gift from someone, she says. Oh, mm -hmm. that is pretty. Now, that to replicate it? I think I could replicate that. But I don't want to do it because without the permission of the person, the original person that made it, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't replicate things unless I have permission from the original person. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could, I know I can put it together exactly, but just a little bit different trims and stuff like that. Hmm. It is looking really, really mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it a gift? To someone or from someone. That is gorgeous, though. Nessa, don't do that. No, I won't. But that is gorgeous. You see, something like this gives me ideas to uh, do like a card. A sh some sort of shaker. Oh, it's mm -hmm. a gift from someone. That would make a, a fun um, shaker card, but I won't. Mm -mm. Hmm. Without the permission of the original owner, I won't do that. I'm not that type of person. I mean, I have a lot of cameos. I have the same things like that, but I would do it my way, you know? Mm -hmm. But that background looks like a, a digital. Yeah, might might be. That is dead gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous right there. But I, I said that because it's something is special to her okay yeah i mean i understand mm -hmm. but that is oh my god <laughs> i'm at a, a, literally at a loss now is that fabric in the background angie or is it a digital the those that doily though that's a beautiful doily, the two called two tone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is really, really beautiful. Mm. That's like when I saw it in the email, my literally my heart went into my throat when I saw it. It's paper. Wow. Huh. It looks like a real doily. No, I'm talking about the, the background. The doily is real. No, oh, it, it is. is. Uh -huh. Okay. The paper <laughs> is a printable. That is pretty. It really is. Hmm. Mm hmm. She tied everything in perfectly. That's a perfect. Oh my God. I'm like, Vanessa, there's an idea in your head. Mm hmm. Get it down on paper now. Yeah. This is how my mind works. Okay. Like this, I have an idea to do one my way, my style. But I have to take the idea and sketch it out. And you do that as like a project on your exactly. channel. Or... I mean, I sketch it out and then I go through all my stuff and see what I can match with. Like, say I use fabric, I have to find stuff that match the fabric. Or if mm -hmm. I'm using a printable, I have to find stuff in my stash that has it. I mean, a lot of people don't realize 
what goes into working with something like that? I mean, it's got to be done in your head, onto paper, planned out, everything put together. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy, but you want it somewhere where it's going to all tie in. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> You know, I don't plan anything. I just I, make as I do. I do. <laughs> sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. A lot mm -hmm. of the projects you'll see in my video, it's just me going, you know, not planned. It's just going right along with whatever I have on my desk at the time mm -hmm. and tying it all together. Sometimes when y'all see me working on a project or video, I'm going like with this here, with a junk journal. A lot of the stuff is from junk, but a lot of the stuff is from things that I made on my computer or stuff from around where I'm sitting. I rarely get up to get things, but you know, I can only sit and stand for so long. So sometimes I'm standing, sometimes I'm sitting mm -hmm. when I do projects live. Yeah. You know, and usually when I'm sitting, I have a heating pad on my back. But I'm trying to get in as many videos as I can right now, just in case they call me and schedule the surgery for my hands. I'm doing my right hand yeah. first, and then two weeks after this heals, I'm going for this one. And what they're going to do is cut right in here and open the nerve tunnel on my thumb before they open the nerve tunnel here. Now I have, I still have trouble bending my fingers, so they might have to go in here also, but I can close my hand with no problem. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's like, do like this. I feel all the pull in here. And I do this three times a day and it hurts. Now, the day y'all saw me coloring, Mm-hmm. My hands hurt that day. It literally hurt. And I'm like, oops. Yep. But I like what I do. So I, you know, I deal and with it. You're just saying be careful with your hands because uh -huh. you, know, you don't want to well, have after them. After surgery, I think what I'm going to do is if i decide on a project i'm gonna try to get it to where i can find something a program or something to where i can color everything on screen and then when it prints out no. it prints out already colored no. because my hands are not as young as they used to be mm -hmm. And going for my second surgery on each one. No, be careful. Is, no, I was talking to Maddie because she had the same surgery I, I'm having. And I've decided the reason I'm trying to line up enough videos, record them, and schedule them is because once I go into surgery, I want to make sure that everybody, there's no gaps in my videos. So, but then again, you know, if ha things happen, they happen. So, exactly. I, I wouldn't so, be too, I wouldn't I'm not be too, too worried about it. it. It's mm -hmm. just for me, I don't want, I don't like having too many gaps in my videos. I like to have it where I can watch it myself. I don't, I don't put the volume on, but. I still watch mm -hmm. myself sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and I'll be bed rest, resting my hands for two weeks and icing it and doing my little exercise, you know, yeah. to get it working so it doesn't stiffen up the rest of my fingers. So, you know, I'll be taking that time off, but I want to make sure I have something for you guys to watch while I'm healing. Mm -hmm. You know, while I'm in recovery, I'll be home. I'll be watching everybody else. But I know if I say something in the chats, everybody's going to be, Shania, be resting. Yeah. <laughs> I am resting like, really big. I don't know how I'm to do it. Oh, wow. Because I remember when I had the heels done, I had you, 
I had Zena. Mm -hmm. I had Ben, Maddie. I had Margaret, Marty. Mm -hmm. I had everybody saying, you shouldn't be typing. Yeah. And which I don't realize. <laughs> yep. This hand is literally the one that I'm having surgery on. But I still got this one free. So this one doesn't do no work. This one does all the work. Mm -hmm. You know? And then when this yeah. one is be healing, this one's going to be doing work. Yeah, hopefully everything will go you know? well, you know, and, and not too many days, weeks, or months even to oh, no. heal up properly. I mean, <clears throat> this hand was just done in June for the carpal tunnel. And mm -hmm. it took a couple of months for it to completely heal. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Right so here. I won't be doing too much cutting once I have this one done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get enough of my room up and running to where I can clear off my desk and put my scanning cut up. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know what? Well, my daughter just came in with a thing that I really need to help her with. Uh oh. In terms of, you know, a couple of minutes before dinner time here. Uh, Mommy duties. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <It is. laughs> I'm sorry for that, everyone. But, you know, sometimes life just comes running to you. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to chat. I mean, I'd be one one finger, but I'd be good. I won't be crafting behind the scenes or anything like that. I just want to make sure I have enough videos up to, you know, see, you know, make sure I don't have, I don't want no gaps in my um, videos. So I got to try to see how, how many videos I can get put up between now and Christmas. So mm -hmm. and within a month span, I should have enough videos to come out while I'm in recovery. But yeah. don't, don't fret. I don't sit here all day and record. I'll do two in the morning, two in the afternoon, and two in the evening. And then the next day, what I do is I piece them together or if I do two in the morning, the afternoon, I will piece them together and then upload them, schedule them, and then come back that night, do two more. The next day, I'll piece them together or that yeah. night, depending on how tired I am. Yeah, and you will find out, you know, if, you, know, know long the, you know. I'm waiting to do that. them the call. So this was just, what, Monday? No, Tuesday. So... Or was it yesterday? I don't remember. But as soon as they gave me a call and said the date, there's a lot of testing that's going to be going on. I have to go for a COVID test. I have to go for blood work. I have to go for this. And I have to go for that. It's like, by the time I'm all done, I'm already tired. Mm -hmm. You know, when I go in for surgery. It's usually like they'll schedule it today. And... Not even a week later, I'm already in surgery. Yeah. So, you know, the doctor wants it done now. And when she says get it done now, they have to schedule it. Yeah. But I had a good time joking with the, the doctor the other day. I told her I want the same nurse I had that put the IV in my arm because she was really gentle. She hmm. did the tourniquet style with the thing at the top. So, you know. Yeah, and we're going to be going to. Mrs. Gigi's got to go do dinner and a project. Mm -hmm. a dinner and a movie is dinner and a project. But, okay, guys. Thank you all for being here. Ooh. Thank you, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you all for the fun and laughter. Um. Thank you, Mrs. Gigi, for letting me do this collab with you. It, it was a lot of fun. Really, really fun. I can't wait for the next ones that we have done. <laughs> yeah, so. it, it, this one is really, really fun. A couple of more days to go, though. It's yep. Next week, too. And then, you know. One more live. And yep. then everything's pre recorded. So 
Next week will be our last slide for this journal, and then we're done with it. Yep. <laughs> um, well, with the lies that is. But we have something cooking in our little heads for y'all next month. Definitely. So, have a lovely day, have, everyone. <laughs> have a good one, guys. See y'all next week. Bye. Well, don't forget to watch Mrs. Gigi tomorrow with Rebecca. Mm -hmm. So yeah. thank you all for being here. Please like, share, and comment. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of when I upload new content, go live, or do a premiere. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. Be blah, blah, blah. Rewind. <laughs> please be blessed. Be kind. Be crafty. And I just lost my train of thought. We will see uh, y'all next yeah. week. Yeah, bye. -bye we'll <laughs> bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>